with, this is our chapter five and activity five, completing sentences with new vocabulary on page 87. So we went over the vocabulary pronunciation already. And you know how to pronounce those words, right? Mm -hmm. Now we want to choose the right word to, to, to complete each one of the sentences. So you can see my screen and you can find the words and see whether you've got the same thing as I do. Do you think yours is the same as mine? Do you think so? I hope so. Okay, let's find out. What do you have for number one? Carlos caught a cold from his sister Monica. She was contagious. That's very good. Now you say after me. Carlos caught a cold from his sister Monica. She was contagious. Number two, Emily fell off the slide. Now her arm is in a cast. Her arm is broken. broken. That's right. Now repeat. Emily fell off the slide. Now her arm is in a cast. Her arm is broken. Ready for number three? All right. One symptom of a cold is a sore throat. Another symptom is a stuffy nose. All right, listen and repeat. One symptom of a cold is a sore throat. Another symptom is a stuffy nose. Number four, when children are tired, they can be very fussy. fussy. All right, let's say it. When children are tired, they can be very fussy. Number five, Raquel's headache was very persistent. persistent. It lasted for three days. Poor Rachel. Number six, when Jeff jumped into the sandbox on top of a toy, he sprained his ankle. But it's not broken, so that's a good thing. At least it's not broken. Now, let's repeat. When Jeff jumped into the sandbox on top of a toy, he sprained his ankle, but it's not broken. Number seven, stress for many hours can cause a headache. Let's say it. Stress for many hours can cause a headache. Number eight, if you sprain a finger, the hmm, the swelling will stop you from wearing a ring. Yeah, if you sprain the finger, the swelling will make it bigger. Now, let's say, if you sprain a finger, the swelling will stop you from wearing a ring. Number nine, if you scrape your knee and do not clean it well, you may get an infection. Listen and repeat. If you scrape your knee and do not clean it well, you may get an infection. Number 10, rest and use muscle relaxation to treat a headache. Let's say that, rest and use muscle relaxation to treat a headache. Number 11, an icy teething ring helps infants feel better when they are 
teething. All right, from the beginning, an icy teething ring helps infants feel better when they are teething. And the last one in this group is number 12. Elevation can help stop the bleeding from a cut. What is elevation? Can you show me? What happens if you cut your hand? You can elevate it by raising it above your heart. How about if you cut your leg? What should you do? If you cut your leg, how can you, what can you do? Raise your arm? No. <laughs> if you cut your leg, how do you do it? You have to lie down. One thing you can do is lie down and raise your leg. So your leg is higher than your heart because the heart is what pumps the blood out. So if you lie down and then raise your leg, it'll be a lot easier. If you're standing and raise your leg, that's not going to help very much. If you sit and you lean back and you have another chair that's very high and you can put your leg up, that can help also. But it's better if you lie down. Okay, number 13, to reduce your risk of catching a cold, wash your hands often. Okay, let's say that again. To reduce your risk of catching a cold, wash your hands often. Okay, and oh, one thing I wanted to point out, when you come into this lab and you don't have time to wash your hands before you come in or before you leave, we have some hand sanitizer. You know about that, right? This is a big bottle, a big jar of it. Okay, so you can use this. And then we always keep it here. Oh, it's so big, it's heavy. Okay, so that can help kill the germs on your hands. Don't take a shower with it, okay? <laughs> okay, how about number 14? Swelling is a symptom of a sprained ankle. All right, say it again. Swelling is a symptom of a sprained ankle. Number 15. Hmm. Lice are insects that live in the hair. Right. Let's say that again. Lice are insects that live in the hair. Number 16. The leaves of some plants can give you a rash if you touch them. All right. Let's say the leaves of some plants can give you a rash if you touch them. For example, in California, you can get poison oak, poison oak, and this one has three pointed leaves, it's green and shiny, and then it turns red when it's, in, when it's uh, ready to give out a rash. And um, it's common in some parks, and um, when you go hiking in certain yes. places, you have to be careful, maybe in the spring and summertime and the autumn, you'll see poison oak. I used to get poison oak um, when I was a child because I lived next to a county park in Berkeley. I grew up in Berkeley and I lived on the border of Wildcat Canyon Road and the Tilden Park, Tilden Regional Park. I had a dog and my dog, in those days, it's like kids. They used to run all over. And so when my dog came back, my dog would have the oil from the poison oak bushes on his fur. And I would hug him, and I would play with him, and I would snuggle with him, and then I would get a rash. Lucky me, huh? Yeah, so that was his present to me. So I used to get poison oak 
not from going into the poison oak myself and touching it directly, but because my dog played in it and then I got it from you. So I got a rash. And then it went away, and then I got another rash, and then it went away, you know, stuff like that. Okay, number 17. If you get an insect bite, you may want to scratch it. Yeah, you may want to scratch it because it itches. All right, let's say that. If you get an insect bite, you may want to scratch it because it itches. And number eight. Team, 18. Compression will help control the swelling of an injury. Okay, not compression, but compression. First and last syllable are very weak. Compression will help control the swelling of an injury. Okay, very good. Any questions?